excited for today's uh, lesson. Um, topic is musicality. So, as I mentioned in the video just before this, and a lot of times people struggle, they're like, you know, what is musicality? Like I said, musicality is the dancer's interpretation of the music, okay? No two people will ever have the same musicality. Never. It's where we all think differently, we all move differently. Besides the base fundamental moves, you know, running man, T-step, etc. Okay, uh, just like we all have different DNA, okay? We all, we all think and move and flow differently, okay? So, I'm gonna play this song and the best way to get better at musicality, you know, you're you're gonna think you're gonna think it's it's kind of like duh, but you have to just dance more. The more styles that you try out, for example, I started out in the very beginning, like 15 years ago or something like that. I, I did. I started with salsa, then it was country dance, and it was just just getting out there. Wherever, wherever I would go, at the club or the venue or, you know, wherever. And just, just moving my body, period. Um, then I found EDM, electronic dance music. I found shuffling. Now it's like my one true love. Um, you know, I'm, I've taken popping and waving classes. I've taken uh, a hip-hop class before. Um, house step. House stepping. Miami step. You know, there's so many different styles out there. I, uh, I, on my Spotify, you know, everyone gets their Spotify, um, whatever the year is, 20, you know, 2021 wrapped at the end of the year, right? So, like, this year I listened to over, like, 2,000 artists or something like that, you know? So, if you limit yourself and you're only listening to one artist and you're only doing one style of dance, even though, if you want to think of it, all dance is all style, it's just dance, you know, you can just call it dance at the end of the day. But we have to categorize and compartmentalize each um, style of dance, otherwise it's just, you know, it needs to be labeled so you can comfortably, how should I say it, like learn that style and then pick up another style. Because different parts of the world, different regions, different you know, indigenous, you know, all of that, there's, there, you want to, they're, they're separated. And that's why you become more musical or you have better musicality if you learn more of these styles of dance from different parts of the world, listening to different songs, different genres, different artists, DJs, anything, you know, anything and everything like that. So that is, that is, in my honest opinion and from my experience, the best way to become more musical, and it's just to, I have some good examples, um, uh, before this, before this video will be out, that I want you guys, well, that you will watch, and then uh, this will be after those, obviously, um, but it's just playing in the lab, you know, I call this the studio, or the shuffle lab, so, uh, I'm gonna go off to this song, and just watch what I do, watch my musicality, watch my my like subtle movements, uh, just little little things, you know, these are just things that you pick up as you go, you know, start from year one and then watch yourself at year two, three, four, five. You're gonna pick up more moves and you're gonna interpret the music better and like you're gonna be more smarter about it as you go along, you're gonna be wiser, you're gonna learn more as you go on, so, all right, here we go. Running through the lights of my thoughts Sitting on the edge of my shoulders Everything I know could be gone in a minute And it's okay, alright Getting ready for the build-up, just flowing. Now you can hear it coming up.
you can see I went from like the beginning of the song all the way to the end of the first like drop, okay? So obviously you can see I was doing things in there that are not really uh, Melbourne style, but like I said, you know, my goal in life <laughs> is to be a more well-rounded dancer, okay? Melbourne Shuffle, to me, is the perfect style to throw into almost anything. You know, I was doing waving and body rolls. I was doing, you know, one-legged, like, not quite pirouettes, but I was doing spins, nor different than what I would normally do, like that, because I was interpreting the music how I see myself dancing to it, okay? You know, I was doing, I even did some some knee spins, and I dropped out, I'll, those will be in series three, okay? Um, you know, hat, hat spins, and I did some, I did a couple like hat tricks that I don't think I've shown yet, you know, but like, all kinds of things that I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh, I think that would look really cool. And as long as you can move, keep moving to the music and keep syncing up with the song and playing with the beats and doing different moves, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be okay, you know? So, that's the end of this, uh, this, this lesson for today. I want to keep it kind of short and sweet. Um, so just, you just gotta keep practicing. You, literally, literally, that's the formula. You just have to keep dancing. But try different dance styles out. Take more classes. Listen to different genres of music. Blend it with your shuffling. And see what moves will come out, okay? So, thank you guys for uh, uh, watching, stopping by again, and we'll see you next time, okay? Later.